Hello everybody, welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. We thought we'd hit you guys with a special episode. Got Dad in the shop today. We're going to see if that wing fits. Now we have not test fit this. Dad said, ain't we going to test fit it? I said, no, we're going to do it on YouTube. Now this is how this is going to work. Okay. If our... If this turns out good, we'll post it. If this don't work out, uh, y'all will probably never see this video, and you can find this B-1 bomber sticking out of a dumpster somewhere. No, okay, here we go. Uh, hey, and uh, hey, one thought that these doors wouldn't quit clear with these uh, bolts in, and uh, they work just fine. Lots of room. I think it was just the way it was looking in that video. But we'd like the rest of you guys. We're just dying to make sure this wing fits and uh, hope we move that bulkhead the right direction. <laughs> oh, Butch. Butch asked me the other night. I was talking to him on the phone. He said, Did you get them bulkheads glued in there? I said, Yeah. He said, Did you test fit it first to make sure it'll work? I said, No. Nope. But I said, Dad measured it. So if this don't work out, we know where to point fingers. <laughs> Okay. cardboard tube in there that's just right for that bolt and uh, that'll act like kind of a bearing and not interfere when I mold it There it is, people. Okay, swing it back. That's nice. That's a perfect fit. See how all that fits? See, I had to lift that up because it's actually the wing's fatter in there than it is out here. Out here, that's a perfect fit, man. See, add a little bit more. Bam, that's fully extended. Perfect fit. Man, that's all just perfect how that radius goes around there. Butch gets the thumbs up on that one, people. <laughs> okay, let's bring it back again. Wow, that is pretty. I just got to cut a little bit of that hole out. I notched my bulkhead to where it'll slide in there. I just got to cut a little bit more back there. And uh, give it some clearance. But there it is. Man, I can't wait to get this done. Until we get two of them big old wings in there. 
I'm only going to be able to, uh, I'm only going to be able to work on one side at a time here in the shop. I don't think I'll be able to spread the wings, Dad. I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if they were swept, I could. But uh, full extended, they ain't gonna work. Wow, this is just incredible. All right, y'all seen it live on YouTube. I guess we can uh, go ahead and post this video, Dad. <laughs> All you guys, don't go looking in the dumpsters. It fit. But we just measured it. We seen the hole, how far it was off, and uh, seeing it was on this back bulkhead. See, there's a panel line here and a panel line here. That's actually where the uh, bulkheads for that wing need to set. And I put it on the front bulkhead and I should have put it on the back. But now we know everything did. The door still fits in the same place. So uh, nothing hurt. Got it moved. Uh, I'm going to do some reinforcements. This guy asked me if we shouldn't have to, you know, put a bulkhead in the where the landing gears go you know dad right there down the center and uh yes i'm going to do that we got to move a junction block but i'm going to take the rest of that gear out of the bottom so we can paint that area anyway and i'm going to put that bulkhead in there and uh i'm going to get all them gear doors painted someone else asked me about uh if i had all the gear doors in bombay doors made i'm just going to use the ones i cut out of there people uh, there's the gear doors right there, and uh, I got the, all the Bombay doors right here, but I do have some molds I took off my plug. Remember when I did them? See, there's my gear doors right there. If I wanted to make some new gear doors, I can lay it up right there. And what I'll probably do is uh, I'm going to take them other ones, and I'm dig it. you know, it's all the peel ply surface, and I'm just going to glue some balsa on the back of them and leave that little lip, and uh, they'll fit just fine. But uh, there it is. I know you guys wanted to see that just as bad as what we did. So we gave you a little treat. Merry Christmas. This is my Christmas present to all you guys out there. Merry Christmas. And from Sandy. Yeah, and from Sandy. Don't forget about uh, Sandy. Uh, this is uh, Sanding. <laughs> oh. On my XR71. Here. We got. We got to give you. A, we got to get the close up on that. I want to show you, buddy. Look at Dad's thumb. Got <laughs> <laughs> one end off of it. And sanded on that SR71, but he's got it looking good. And I'm going to help him get that glass. I'm going to glass that for him and uh, help him get his mold set up. And we're going to glass that thing. We're going to make we're going to make that thing fly for old Dad. But till next week, folks, we will see you in the shop.